What's up, YouTube? PPG Gorilla checking in. Just back from the Swanee fly-in. Been working on those videos. I uh, got part one up. Part two is coming soon. There was just so much footage. We had so much fun. It was just an amazing trip. Being able to connect with all of my uh, paramotor family and friends. So it was a great time. It just goes by so quick. I can't wait till the next one. So today I'm uh, I'm here to talk about something uh, pretty exciting to me. Um, over the years, you guys have gotten used to seeing me flying wearing this. No, not this. Wait. This helmet. My dad bought me this helmet, and it served the purpose very well. Um, it has the uh, Cena SMR5. It's one of the earlier versions. And I wore the uh, Bluetooth adapter in my harness and connected that to my 2-meter two radio, two radio. So that was nice. Um, it was able to connect via Bluetooth to my cell phone, and um, I could make calls or um, receive calls, listen to music, things like that from my phone. The problem was, um, is it wouldn't connect to both the telephone and the Bluetooth adapter at the same time. So I had to use either one or try to disconnect and reconnect in the air, which was a nightmare. So um, I usually just left it connected to my two meter radio so I could talk to uh, dad on the ground and other guys in the air. As far as an aviation radio, dad would usually be on the ground with an, with an aviation radio and he would relay traffic information to us. He would say, uh, yeah, Gorilla, there's uh, an airplane on final for 1-8 or whatever. There's an airplane in the pattern. And he'd also relay information back to aircraft that there were paramotors in the area. So it worked out okay. Um, just for safety's sake, I like to have both radios available. Now, we like to fly. A lot of times we'll leave our airport and fly a number of miles into another airport and another airspace and land. So it's important to be able to communicate with other aircraft. So... Not that there was anything wrong with this helmet. I really liked it. It's very comfortable. Served me very well. And um, it's going to go to a, uh, a guy that's training with us uh, that, that's new into the sport that's going to be a trike flyer by the name of Paul. So you'll see more about that later. So the upgrade, what I got to replace this helmet is this. This is the PM100 from Microavionics. Um, I heard about Microavionics through some of my buddies in the UK, um, Kyle Davies. Same last name as me, brother from another mother, and uh, Giles Fowler. Also, uh, Para Noob, if you guys watch his channel, he uses this setup. Um, so I contacted Eddie at Microavionics in the UK, and uh, he was very gracious and helpful, and uh, he referred me to Wisconsin Flight Sports. They're the U.S. distributor for the PM100. So I, I had some conversations with them, and they talked with me about what I wanted and, and what I needed out of a helmet. And uh, this is what I ended up with. So this is the PM100. Very nice thing about this helmet is it has dual radio inputs. Um, so on my left ear cup here, I have a push to talk that will run my primary radio, which is my two meter radio. And I'll have that on my chest harness. I don't have my chest harness on right now, but my two meter radio will sit right here. And I have the push to talk right here because that's the one that I use the most. My secondary radio will be my aviation band radio. It'll be on this side of my harness. And it will have a push to talk switch um, close by right here. So when I need to transmit on aviation band, I just push to talk here. The nice thing about this helmet is the Bluetooth module is actually built into the ear cup here. So you don't have that extra clutter on the helmet. I, I have enough crap on there already with a GoPro and a FPV camera and transmitter. So. So I'm really excited about this helmet, guys. I'm going to go through some of the uh, some of the benefits and the functionality of this helmet, and um, a little bit later we're going to go out and fly. It's windy right now. We had a cold front come through. It's freezing here. It's down in the 50s, so too cold for me to fly. But uh, later I'm going to go fly, and I'm going to test it out. And uh, the one thing I didn't mention is side tone, and of course the uh, the out cable that connects to my GoPro audio adapter. So I'm able to record everything that comes through my ear cups here. Every bit of transmission on aviation band and on a two meter radio between pilots. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully it makes for some good audio and um, just makes my video a little bit better. So, all right guys, check it out. Here's the helmet. Well, this is it, guys, the Micro Avionics PM100. I ordered it through Wisconsin Flight Sports. 
I had this custom belt helmet at my door in four business days, which was pretty amazing to me. I had looked at some other helmets and even considered building one. This helmet had everything that I needed in a helmet, from the dual radio connection to the side tone and the ability to have an audio out go directly to my GoPro so I can record everything that comes through my headset. So this is the left side earpiece on the PM100. You can see uh, it has the two radio inputs and a push to talk switch here. I believe the ear cups are noise canceling and there is a single mic boom mounted from the left ear cup. This includes a noise canceling microphone to cut down on that wind and motor noise. The ear cup on the right side has a speaker volume control. One of the things I really like is the way the Bluetooth is actually built in to the ear cups, so there's nothing else on the outside of the helmet. I ordered mine with the Icaro 2000 carbon fiber helmet. There are a couple different options available. Just email these guys at the link included in the description and they'll custom build your helmet to fit your specs. Also don't forget to include the discount code all caps GORILLA and uh, they'll give you 25 bucks off. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. It got a little longer than I expected. I just checked the weather and it looks good for tomorrow, so I'm going to go out and test fly this thing. We'll do some vlogging and see how it goes, so check in for part two. Thanks guys. Gorilla out.